Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, this has been a highly requested video on how I keto prep. Now this is not a keto meal prep. I'm not gonna be showing you dinners. I don't find for myself that I need to keto meal prep because I just feel like my recipes that I make for keto dinners are simple enough to make at night and I don't have to prep ahead of time. But in this video, you're going to see how I keto prep for breakfast because I am a working mom of two. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And also for lunches. So I am a working mom, like I said, so I need to have quick, easy, keto accessible breakfast and lunches on the go. And also guys, I'm gonna be sharing with you some keto desserts. I don't know about y'all, but I have to have something sweet after dinner on my keto lifestyle. And if I don't have a keto dessert on hand, I am gonna make a poor choice, which I have not done in 11 weeks. So I'm happy to say that, but especially for the hubby guys, because he has no self-control. So if you wanna see what keto prep I do for the week to make my life so easy, guys, this is the way that I do keto as far as making my life simplistic with keto and keeping myself on track. And one thing I wanna mention before we get into the video is this cookbook right here has been my saving grace. This is the Southern Keto Cookbook by Natasha Newton. I will have it linked down below. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I post this bad boy on Instagram all the time with pictures and my results from my recipes. I can tell you there's only been one thing in here that I haven't been a fan of, but I've made numerous things and this cookbook is life. I'm also gonna be mentioning in the video another cookbook by Dat Keto Lady on Instagram. She has an e-cookbook. I will have her link down below as well. So those are the two cookbooks I cook from most office and often, and of course, Pinterest. So let's get into how I keto prep for the week. Bunless burgers for lunch, must have on this keto lifestyle, and I also use them for dinner when I don't feel like cooking, meal prep ahead. If y'all have never tried that Montreal steak seasoning on burgers, you're missing out. I love prepping boiled eggs for the week on the ketogenic lifestyle, and I love using my Instant Pot for it. It's the easiest thing and the easiest peeling eggs you're ever going to have. So I go ahead and make a bunch for the week, whether I use them for breakfast on the go with a sausage patty, or as you're gonna see me use them in tuna fish in a minute. I also use them in salads. They are just a great staple to have in your fridge and already be done and not have to worry about it. I am a big lover of berries on this ketogenic lifestyle. I know some people aren't about it, but I'm all for it. I love it to go in different recipes as you're gonna see here. I love it for keto Lunchables for lunch, or sometimes just to throw on the side for breakfast. I love having that sweetness and they're definitely keto approved, low carb berries. So in the Southern Keto Cookbook, we are gonna be making strawberry shortcakes. Strawberry shortcake is my all-time favorite dessert. So I'm making it keto-fied here. I did already taste this and I'm gonna pop up a picture in a few minutes to show you how great they were, but this was bomb. Like I said, I haven't made anything from that cookbook that I really haven't loved. So definitely look in the description box down below if you're interested in ordering. You will not be sad when you do, I promise. If you haven't used press and seal in your life, you're missing out. So the next thing that we're going to be making is the blueberry muffins from the Southern Keto Cookbook. I've made these a few times and they are my go-to. Even the hubby loves these guys and he is very picky when it comes to sweets, especially with keto because he's not full keto like me. He's lazy low carb if that. These are two thumbs up, so, so good. Definitely sift your almond flour, that's a tip. I've been telling so many people in my Foodie Fridays on Friday with keto recipes, definitely makes a big difference. I'm 
Put some press and seal on these bad boys and you can take two on the go every morning for really low carb option. Now I'm gonna be prepping my fruit. I like to go ahead and wash it and get it all pre-cut up. I love these storage towers from the Dollar Tree. If you can go to your Dollar Tree and find them, they are amazing on the keto prep journey. I'm telling you guys, these have been a lifesaver since I found them for my keto prep. I also use them a lot for the boy snacks, so for raisins, cookies, Cheez-Its, crackers, you name it, you can put them in there and it saves so much space in your fridge and your pantry. I highly recommend y'all getting these if you can find them and it keeps your fruit fresh for the entire week. A win-win, two thumbs up Dollar Tree. So I don't know about y'all, but I love water in my lemon. It just gives it a little sweetness without any sweet, if that makes sense. And it's definitely okay for keto. And I think lemons are pretty good for you as far as if you're working out and on a health journey. So I love having my fresh lemons in the fridge the entire week for our water. So look guys, look how much space it saves in your fridge. I'm telling you, get to the DT. Now we're gonna be making some tuna fish with some of the boiled eggs that we made earlier. I love having tuna fish on hand for the work week for a keto lunchable, or I like having it for the weekends because let's be honest, we don't like cooking anything for lunch on the weekends. So this is so easy to take out and have with a keto lunchable or eat it with some regular pork rinds or just eat it on a bed of lettuce. Just really, really easy and really, really delicious. So I love having this in the fridge at all times. Goes the rest of my three boiled eggs if I want them for breakfast in the morning. Now we're getting into another dessert, guys. These are going to be easy truffles in the Southern Keto Cookbook. I've already tried them. They are amazing. Definitely going to roll them in some chopped pecans next time. I think that would be awesome with a little bit of crunch, but the inside chocolate of this is spot on. Lily's chocolate, chocolate, y'all ask me all the time where to buy it. I get it from Whole Foods. A lot of y'all claim that it's in other stores, but that's the only place I can find it locally to me. They do sell it on Amazon as well, but Lily's chocolate is the bomb. This is a must have for me. This is from the Dat Keto Lady cookbook. This is the blue cheese dressing. This dressing is amazing, guys. I would rather this than any of the bottle kind any day. I love blue cheese dressing. It is amazing. If you love blue cheese, you definitely have to give this one a go. So easy. This lasts me a week to make one of the portions from her recipe. Lasts me in the hubby the entire week. I store it in a Dollar Tree airtight container, as you see here, and it is our go-to for the entire week, and it is is a lifesaver for salads on keto for us. I wanted to show you my meal planner. I go into this in real detail on my grocery haul, so make sure you watch those so you can see breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What keto sink doesn't look like this after every meal because everything is from scratch on this keto train, but we always clean it up and it looks nice and clean after the fact, and it's all worth it in the end. 
All right, y'all, so I hope that video was helpful and giving you some ideas that you can do for breakfast, some ideas that you can do for lunches and keto desserts. Obviously, I do different things all the time. These are just some of my go-tos I wanted to share with you all. And if you're not already following my weekly keto vlogs, that's where I post what I eat in a day, my exercise regimen. So if you want to see more of what I eat in a day versus just my keto prep, definitely go and watch my weekly keto vlogs. I post every single Monday here on my channel. And also go ahead and follow my grocery hauls because in my grocery hauls, I show you my meal planner, exactly what I'm gonna be eating every single day to give you some inspiration and some ideas on your keto lifestyle. And maybe if you're in a rut, and a lot of people have messaged me and said, thank you so much for the ideas. I've been in a keto food rut and it's definitely easy to do on this keto lifestyle, but I highly recommend those two cookbooks. I highly recommend y'all getting a Pinterest board, making some keto life, I think that's the name of mine, and pinning stuff on there and switching it up. You can definitely get in a rut sometimes on any type of health journey, but switch it up, make things interesting, and you will not slip off track. So guys, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this keto prep video, and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I post all things keto lifestyle here, and I would love to have you a part of my channel. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing day and an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next one.